नमस्ते आचार्य जी सो आई एम राहुल हियर आई एम फाइनल इयर पी एच डी स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी आई आई टी मद्रास सर जस्ट इलेबरेट मई क्वेश्चन हियर आई हैव अ किड हु विल गो टू स्कूल इन नेक्स्ट कपल ऑफ इयर्स so now uh, i wish that he gets exposed to uh, lots of friends with uh, different cultural background and uh, he knows and respects these cultures now in our country the food habits uh, that uh, they change from region to region culture to culture communities to communities and i have seen that most of the time adults they discriminate among each other depending on their food choices uh especially especially when it comes to vegetarian and non vegetarians so uh my kid too will have friends uh, who would be meat eaters unlike him so how to upbring my child such that he respects other cultures be friends with them all does not discriminate among people but at the same time he doesn't get influenced by the uh, by the uh, by their food choices by the by their food habits then it's not so much uh, then it's not so much about respecting others choices you see then it's actually about knowing where his own are coming from i must know where my own choices are coming from if i know the entire process of choosing then it will become possible for me to realize how others make their choices you see hatred etc breed only in an environment of ignorance you cannot be a hater if you understand if you understand if i do not understand why a certain individual behaves in a certain way i'll just take his behavior as the only thing available or visible because that actually is the only thing visible i'm not able to see what's behind that behavior and that behavior includes the food habits i'll not be able to see where he's coming from and if i cannot see that then all i have available to me is his behavior and his behavior is something that is uh, uh, contradictory to my own and then there is conflict hmm? so the attention uh, should not be so much on uh, living uh, harmoniously with others or being tolerant towards others behaviors and choices or Uh, food habits it's much more to do with knowing why the kid is behaving in a particular way usually what happens is that kids are handed over these things from the parents without much explanation hmm? if your kid uh, is vegetarian obviously that's not by choice that's because uh, he is coming from a vegetarian family now that's not really very good not that the kid should not be vegetarian but that the kid should be vegetarian with an understanding of vegetarianism hmm? why must i be vegetarian why must i eat this and not that what is meant by eating what is my relationship with other sentient beings because the apple or the grass or the leaf too is sentient huh? and that's one of the arguments meat eaters very readily use they say well you see even plants have life so how are you vegetarians any different from us meat eaters hmm? your kid should know if your kid does not know then uh, he might very readily turn to meat or he might get into some kind of bigotry and start hating meat eaters hmm? both of these are uh, are not uh, right not auspicious i must know why i eat the way i do and if i know why i eat the way i do then you know you cannot just stop at being vegetarian you'll have to go all the way and turn vegan hmm. and then i'll also be able to see why others eat the way they do and then i'll not express uh, hatred etc towards their choices but would rather be able to address the root 
of the problem. The root of all problems sounds very old-fashioned and uh, boring perhaps, but the root of all problems is just ignorance, lack of self-knowledge. When one does not know his insides, then one makes all kinds of foolish decisions, including the decision about what is there on your plate. Are you getting it? So, so kindly don't just train or condition the kid. That's not what can be called as education. Hmm? Education is about wetting the child's curiosity, sharpening his his uh, um, appetite to ask questions. Let him ask questions. If, if, he, if he sees a little girl, his own age, he must ask, why is she wearing the way I don't? Why does she look different? Why is her hair done differently? These are the questions that the kid must ask. And if the kid is not asking these questions, there is a problem. Huh? Not only kids his own age, if he looks at adults, he should be able to ask, why is this man walking uh, this way and the other one is doing something totally differently? Huh? Why, why, why do you keep facial hair and uh, someone uh, chooses not to have any? Why does someone have a shaven head? Why is somebody carrying such a long beard? Hmm? So, so make the kid ask these questions. Otherwise, he'll just become a trained kind of programmed kind of machine, which is no good. And when you know, when you are, when you are awake, then it's possible to see that the others are asleep. If you two are as deeply asleep as others are, will it ever be possible to identify that the others are acting out of their sleep? To see that the others are asleep, you need to be first of all awake. And when you are awake, then you do not get angry at the random blabberings of the sleeping ones. Happens. You are sleeping and just murmuring something. Uttering some random thing which could also probably be abusive happens sometimes. And then the awakened one cannot get offended. He knows what's going on. This fellow is, is, is in his dreams. He is in a very elementary, very lowly state of consciousness. How can he get angry at him? I cannot go and slap him because, you know, he has just uttered something foolish in his sleep. What do I do? rather do then? I wake him up. I wake him up. Hmm? So that fellow is eating in a particular way, wearing in a particular way, speaking in a way, believing in a way. I see where all, all of that is coming from. But before I can see where others' behavior is coming from, I must know, uh, I must know from where does my own come. Hmm? So, turn the child into, into a pulsating mass of raw consciousness. Eager, eager and eager. Lively. Looking at the world with great wonderment, curiosity. Not afraid. Not easily contented. Hmm? A bit combative. No daddy, I don't agree. Give me a better response if you can. And if you can't, admit. Hmm? 
Yeah, that's uh, really helpful. Yeah, thanks.